Hello traders, hope you're doing well. Today, Bank Nifty opened with a gap up above 0.382 level of Fibonacci and we could see a continuous momentum towards the upside. If you remember in yesterday analysis video, we had discussed if Bank Nifty consolidates like this, gives a breakout, moves above 236 level, then this area will be the first target, this will be the second target and this will be the third target. But in case market opens with gap up, my expectation is market will try to fill this gap and then make a correction if you look at nifty we had discussed yesterday many times market has tested 22,070 level if it breaks this level then our first target will be 22,017 and the next resistance will be the swing high today morning in our private telegram group somewhere around 9:45, i shared important resistance and support level for bank nifty and important resistance and support for nifty 46,000 860 to 46,925 according to me was an important resistance if you open bank nifty chart this is the place from where we could see a continuous momentum in bank nifty towards the downside now this momentum towards the downside i had already explained in the live market analysis video which was shared in the private telegram group around 11 am here when bank nifty was near the resistance my expectation was Bank Nifty will come up to 0.5 level of Fibonacci, create a flag pattern and then it can move towards the upside. And while speaking about Nifty, I said Nifty is already at the upper level. Planning for any call option trade at the upper level is not a good idea because in Nifty also a correction towards the downside is pending. As per our expectation, Bank Nifty moved towards the downside, gave us a 1 to 2 risk reward trade. From this zone, our view was bullish. In case market breaks this level, we will plan for a call. But one problem was Nifty. Nifty was not showing any retracement near the upper level. This we have clearly explained in the second analysis video which I shared at 12.25. Now in this particular video, my view about Bank Nifty is bullish current level because it can form a flag pattern. But the problem is Nifty is not yet corrected. Even if it moves towards the upside, 22,200 can be a resistance area so we cannot plan for a call because we will not get proper risk reward for the trade waiting for a reversal in nifty is better after holding on for quite some time nifty started to move towards the downside only then bank nifty gave a breakout setup but the setup is after three o'clock so we will not consider this if nifty had already given a breakdown during the first half in bank nifty from this level itself we would have got a flag pattern breakout setup that is okay these two setups we were able to capture but this one took a lot of time good that we avoided trading here based on nifty's chart so this is what happened in the market today let's see how we can plan for tomorrow traders what we're going to discuss about bank nifty is very important so please listen carefully this is a five minutes time frame chart now from the last four trading session bank nifty has just been consolidating within a range if market just holds on to a range for a longer duration we can expect a bigger momentum in the future. Now currently at the upper level, an important level is 47,000. Many times the market has tried to break that level. Now after one week consolidation, if Bank Nifty breaks this level and sustains above 47,000, we can see a good momentum towards the upside. These upper levels can be our target 47,200 and the next target can be 47,400 level. Once market comes out of this zone, there is a possibility of achieving these two targets. One more thing you would have noticed in today's trading session is compared to Nifty, Bank Nifty did not make that big of a movement. To a certain extent, Nifty was continuously moving towards the upside, but Bank Nifty was just trading within this range, which is about 230 to 40 points. Since Bank Nifty is holding the upper level, if it comes out of the zone, a big movement is possible. Now, a keen thing that you need to look at is option chain data for the upcoming expiry. 47,000 strike price on the call option side has highest number of open interest. On the put option side, 46,700 has highest number of open interest. Even though the open interest on the call option side for 47,000 is higher, one important thing that we need to understand is many people wouldn't have taken position for the upcoming expiry because we are having a long weekend. Only tomorrow market is open, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, market is closed, right? So people would have decided that let's wait and watch where Bank Nifty is going to close tomorrow. If it closes above, 47,000 put option writers might consider this level as a supporting area if the movement is big call option writers might consider 47,200 or 47,400 as a resistance for the 
upcoming week so based on where bank nifty closes tomorrow option writers might take fresh positions on monday this is an important thing that we need to take into consideration so as long as bank nifty comes out of this upper range or if it comes out of this lower range that is when planning for put option side when it breaks 46535 level is better on the upper side we can try a call option if market sustains above 47000 area within this range market might just be trapping retail traders so please take that into consideration and wait for the range one important stock that would support bank nifty movement is hdfc bank this stock has been underperforming for quite some time now it has closed near this resistance if the resistance level has been tested many times then there is a possibility that hdfc bank after this call can give a decent momentum towards the upside if this happens in hdfc bank this will support bank nifty's momentum above 47000 level or else in hdfc bank we have a lower range here we have this upper range trend line now this looks like a cup hdfc bank can form a handle later if it gives a bullish cup and handle pattern breakout this will also support bank nifty's momentum towards the upside so please closely watch both the charts so to summarize in bank nifty looking at hdfc bank chart is important at the upper level since it's tested many times we can look for a call option trade within this range Taking any kind of trade according to me is not a good idea because this level can act as support here market can just consolidate and close. Also we have long weekend. If market opens with extreme gap down or if it is consolidating gives a breakdown here that is when planning for a put option trade according to me is better. In case my view changes tomorrow definitely I'll keep you updated in the free market report. During the live market I'll keep you updated in the private telegram group. So this is about bank nifty let's look into nifty. Traders this is nifty chart 5 minutes time frame. On this chart I have marked a trend line here because this is acting as a good resistance and this trend line is acting as a good supporting area. Now if you watch closely Nifty has been forming higher lows and higher highs and moving towards the upside. This looks like a upward channel pattern. That is why Nifty opens with a gap down here or here and it moves towards the downside. I personally feel 0.618 level of Fibonacci can act as important support. From here, if, if Nifty gives a W pattern breakout setup with small stop loss, I will consider a call option trade. Because market is forming higher lows and higher highs and moving towards the upside, Maybe this can be our higher low later nifty can recover that is the first setup and second thing as per my understanding is 22,000 is a psychological level as long as this level break I don't think there is going to be any kind of panic selling if that is the case then this breakdown when people enter put option trade market can reverse and hit their stop loss maybe tomorrow or upcoming week if market goes below 22,000 and sustains this level forming lower highs and lower lows then I would consider planning for a put option trade. If nifty opens somewhere here or here and moves towards the upside then we will consider this level as higher low that means nifty has a chance of moving up to this trend line resistance which is 22,240 area. So at that point of time if any call option trading setup is available I will try to consider that. So if nifty is moving towards the downside at important levels I'm looking for a call option trade if market considered this as a higher low and open somewhere here and it is showing some bullishness here I will be considering call only when nifty goes below 21,995 level and sustains below that I will consider put option trade if you enjoyed this analysis then share your support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you think this kind of content will be useful for your friends please share it with them now that's all for this video I'll see you in the next one